Signs you need coolant flush and how to do a coolant flush. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Auto V Fix, where we share great insights on car maintenance and repairs. If you're a new viewer, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button so you will be notified when there are new helpful tips and guide videos from us. So in today's video, we will be discussing an essential maintenance task for your vehicle, which is a coolant flush. A coolant flush is a formula that helps in preserving your car's health and can restore functionality to your engine's tempering agents. This involves removing dirt, rust, and sludge from your cooling system, as well as inspecting various parts for symptoms of decline. This process also empties out all of the used coolant material from your radiator and replaces it with fresh coolant, effectively servicing your engine's cooling system. Note that performing a coolant flush is a good idea when you replace your car's coolant. However, because engine coolant lasts so long in modern cars, it shouldn't need to be flushed until the car has hit 100,000 to 150,000 miles. So I will be walking you through the signs that indicate you need a coolant flush, which will be in two parts. The first part will cover the benefits of coolant flush and signs that your car needs a coolant flush, while the second part will discuss the step-by-step -step process of how to do a coolant flush. So I urge you to stay with me until the end of this video if you don't want to miss out on the step. But before we get started, let's look at some of the benefits of coolant flush. 1. Coolant flushes remove rust and scale deposits which build up over time. It's important to get rid of these deposits because they can cause overheating and damage your entire cooling system. 2. The new antifreeze contains additives that work to lubricate your automobile's water pump, which can help extend the life of your water pump. 3. The additives in the new antifreeze also help prevent rust from building up in the water pump, which allows the cooling system to operate more efficiently. 4. Over time, the old antifreeze loses its anti-corrosive properties, which allows for contaminants to build up in the cooling system. Getting a coolant flush will completely clean these particles from the system. 5. When you get a coolant flush, it is also common to receive an inspection of your entire cooling system, including the thermostat, radiator, and all hoses and belts. This is beneficial because it checks for leaks and other potential problems. 6. Getting a coolant flush will prevent the old antifreeze from becoming acidic. This is important because once the antifreeze starts to become acidic, it will break down and can damage the bearing in the water pump, the rubber hoses, and the aluminum components of the engine. Now what are the very common signs that your vehicle will exhibit or display to show that your car is low in coolant? Signs you need a coolant flush. Before we dive into the coolant flush procedure, let's take a look at some common signs that indicate your vehicle might need a coolant flush. The first sign is overheating. If your vehicle's temperature gauge consistently shows high readings or you notice steam coming from the engine bay, it's a strong indicator that your coolant needs attention. And second sign to look out for is a rusty or discolored coolant. If you check the coolant reservoir or radiator and notice a rusty or discolored appearance, it's a sign of contamination and reduced effectiveness of the coolant. Third sign, coolant smell or leaks. If you detect a sweet pungent odor or notice coolant puddles under your vehicle, it could mean you have a coolant leak. This is another sign that a coolant flush may be necessary. Now I want you to monitor your mileage and keep to a regular maintenance schedule. Always refer to your vehicle's owner's manual for the recommended coolant flush interval. If you're approaching or have surpassed that mileage, it's time for a coolant flush. Now let's move to the next part of this video, which is how you can do a coolant flush by yourself at home. How to do a coolant flush. First of all, let's look at the tools and materials that you will need to perform a coolant. 1. Safety goggles and gloves 2. Drain pan 3. Wrench or pliers 4. Funnel 5. Distilled water 6 a coolant. Please refer to your vehicle's specifications. These tools and materials are crucial for performing a coolant flush safely and effectively. Always prioritize safety by wearing the appropriate protective gear and handling the coolant with care. Remember to dispose of the old coolant responsibly by taking it to a recycling center or an auto repair shop that accepts used coolant. So let's move on to the steps-by-step -step process needed to do a coolant flush. Steps on how to do a coolant flush. Step 1. Make sure of your safety first. Before we begin, ensure the engine is completely cool. Coolant can reach high temperatures and cause severe burns if mishandled, and so you want to make sure your car engine is cold. 
Step 2. Locate the drain plug. Find the drain plug on the radiator. It's typically located at the bottom, facing the engine or the front of the vehicle. Place the drain pan beneath it. Step 3. Drain the coolant. Using a wrench or pliers, carefully loosen the drain plug. Allow the coolant to flow into the drain pan until it stops. Step 4. Dispose of old coolant responsibly. Coolant is toxic and harmful to the environment. Ensure you collect the old coolant in a sealed container and take it to a recycling center or an auto repair shop that accepts used coolant. Step 5. Flush the system. Close the drain plug tightly. Refer to your vehicle's manual to identify the coolant reservoir. Remove the cap and use distilled water to fill it until it reaches the max line. Step 6. Add new coolant. Using a funnel, pour the recommended amount of coolant into the reservoir. Check your vehicle's manual for the correct coolant type and mixing ratios. Step 7. Bleed the system if necessary. Some vehicles have a bleeder valve to remove trapped air. Refer to your manual to identify the location and use a wrench to open it briefly. Close it once a steady stream of coolant flows out. Step 8. Check coolant levels. Start the engine and let it run for a few minutes. Monitor the coolant levels to ensure they remain within the recommended range. Remember that regular coolant maintenance is crucial for preventing engine damage and maintaining optimal car performance. But if you're unsure and uncomfortable performing a coolant flush yourself, consult a professional mechanic. If you find this tutorial to be helpful, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more helpful car guides and tips videos from our channel. I see you next time. Bye.